What's up everyone? This is going to be a little bit of a different video from what you're used to seeing. Aside from the normal educational content, a lot of people ask me for more lifestyle content, whether it be a day in the life or vlogs. So I had one of my best friends come along and record a day in the life of my trading. This was during high market volatility. So I was trading stocks like UVXY and Tesla. We were talking about NFTs, long-term investing, and a bunch of other things. Now, I know this is something you guys aren't used to and something that's very new for me. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you hate it. And maybe if it goes well, I can make this a weekly series. So Enjoy the video. Here we go at the top of the glass on a roll, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. all right guys so yesterday tesla reported earnings they posted better than expected earnings but because the market has been down the drain the stock went down so this morning i'm actually looking to buy tesla on this red to green reclaim right over here but the problem is i'm a little bit late to the party this morning so far it's 8 42 a.m and on that trade i'm up about nine thousand six hundred dollars wait so you hit earnings so what happened was brought tesla they beat earnings right. they beat their numbers they beat their revenue they beat their earnings they beat everything but the market has been like tanking recently so everyone's just selling off stocks over here when it went from 937 to 942 it's pretty much easy money but i missed it so now i have to wait for it to go down and then i'm gonna buy it so i'm thinking that the market's gonna rebound today so i shorted some pre-market and we're up some money so far <laughs> Tesla, when it, you're saying when it comes back down, you're gonna get it back up. If Tesla comes back down and holds, I'm gonna try to buy some. But knowing that it's gonna drop back down, you wouldn't short that, would you? Here's the thing, they made so much fucking money, bro. They, their profits are up 70%, they're delivered a million cars. Like they have really, really good numbers. So the problem is when they have really, really good numbers, bro, big money will buy it. So if I fucking short it here, all of a sudden I'll be upside down. Where do you get that news from? MIC. So I don't have to pay for news and I don't have to pay for a scanner because the members, like we all like work together to like do it together. about the NFT thing, man. I don't know. I'm like so confused about it. Uh, I need like a, like a more in-depth explanation if you like have the time. I don't know. So you know how like I have the Rich and Go watch? Right. And whenever you buy like a watch, Rolex, whatever, AP, they give you like a piece of paper that says like this is legit. All that, all NFT is, is that but digitally. So instead of getting a piece of paper from fucking Rich Mill, they're giving you a digital authentication. Then what you could do is you could type in the watch's serial number into Richard Mill's blockchain, and then you could see if it's real. If it's on there, it's a real watch. If it's not on there, fake. Right. Think of an NFT as like a virtual ticket, virtual proof that that's your seat, that's your watch, that's your whatever. And they have like a platform for that? Basically there's a website you could go to, you could type in the info, and then you could see if it's real or not, if it shows up on the blockchain. Okay. on that trade, what were you, 9,000 before? Right. We're at 14,000 so far, 15,000. Wow, and you like don't have, like you could literally close that trade out and not do anything for the rest of the day. Yeah. And it's 20K profit, is it? Yeah, now it's 16. Now, did you just like have a, like, a gut feeling about that this morning? Or like, did you like I know mean, that? I've been trading these stocks for a while. And what happened was yesterday, the Federal Reserve, like uh, they announced if they're raising interest rates or not. So I locked in about $9,000 here and $3,000 in the other one, which is $12,000. And I still have $8,000 sitting. So basically with the $8,000 sitting, I wanted to bounce. So I could just do the same fucking thing over again. Okay, so we locked in 10,000, we got $7,000 on the side, and then we got another $3,000 locked in. So, so far right now, if nothing changes, um, and we lock it in right now, it's about a little bit over 20,000. I guess someone with less experience is just gonna say, you know what, they're looking at that and at the open, they would wait for the bounce and then maybe short or like, or even try and long it like to the bounce. So this is a very complex stock. This stock doesn't work like normal stocks. Um, the way that this stock works, bro, is like, if the market goes up, this will go down. If the market stays level, this will go down. This will only go up if the market goes down. So this has a little bit more of an edge. Yeah, it's a benefit. 
Yeah, dude. So like right now, I'm just like slowly getting out of my position like as much as I can because I want to be able to lock in some money to be able to get that bounce. So right now we locked in 16,000 with 2,000 on the side. So this account is up 18, the other account is up three. You always want to take profit when the stock goes your way. So far locked in 20,500 with another 800 on the side. Wow. So now we're waiting. Now, for 30 minutes, we're fucking waiting. You got 14 minutes until you open. I guess it looks deceiving when you look at it like this, bro. I mean, it looks like it went down like more than just like that 60 cents or 70 cents, you know what I mean? It went down a bunch, dude. It went yeah. down a bunch. But that's how much I made, bro. I made like 80 cents from it. Right. So like 10 minutes, I'm gonna make another coffee and then I should be good to go. All right, so so far, market's gonna open up in four minutes. Locked in $18,200 already pre-market. My plan is to short this on a bounce, hopefully towards 1750, 1760. 18 would be amazing, but I don't think we're gonna get there and basically looking to replicate the same trade that I had pre-market on it. As for Tesla, Tesla, I'm just basically waiting to see if it's gonna hold green. If it holds green, I'll look to buy it. What's happening right now? Right now, Tesla's going down. I'm buying some Tesla on the dip. I think Tesla might be rebounding after it sells off in the morning a little bit. That other stuff, UVXY, that we're watching is just fucking tanking. Oh yeah, it's either the matter of taking the guaranteed money or the uh, or taking that chance, right? Yep. And got some bounce on Tesla. Let's see how far it can bounce. This Tesla is looking at kind of 50-50, so I'm not really sure yet. This Tesla got this fucking destroyed. 950 to 890. Oh my god. Yeah. Basically, I lost some money on that, and now I'm back to this other trade, this UVXY. How's that going? Uh, so far, break even. Tesla fucking clocked me for a lot. No, we're just waiting. I know you always say, like, you know, put what you feel comfortable in there, that you, you don't, like, you don't leave it. Uh -huh. Now that I felt like a little more, I'm like, into that. Like, I'm like, like what are the worries, bro? As long as, like, you're not gonna bug out, dude. Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> You didn't really touch much today. You did a Tesla, UBXY. Nothing much out there. Yeah. If the market, the market usually gets strong by like the afternoon. So around like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock is when the market gets strong. So hopefully when that happens, this will kind of melt down. Right. You're holding uh, the UBXY? Yeah. Okay. Went from $2.80 to $6. Oh, would that be a perfect short? Nope. Because the market has been so slow lately that if there's a big runner, everyone's going to short it too early and it's going to go up. Here's what's happening right now. I'm gonna trap everyone. I'm gonna trap everyone. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. Hopefully it goes to 10 bucks and then I'll short it at 10 bucks. All right, but basically I'm just waiting now, dude. Like, either it's gonna hit 17.50, I'm gonna add some more, or I'm just gonna pretty much wait it out till the afternoon. 